I'd be preaching to the choir if I said healthcare was complex. Now imagine translating that complexity into a language that computers can understand. That's what we're gonna be talking about today, specifically clinical data standards. Hi, my name is Brian and I'm an informatics pharmacist interested in connecting the world's healthcare data. When it comes to clinical data standards, there's a lot we could talk about. However, considering my audience is usually healthcare students and practitioners, I'll speak primarily from that perspective. In my opinion, one of the most valuable skill sets that we bring to the table as healthcare professionals is our practice experience, something that I think will make semantic interoperability a reality. As a reminder, achieving semantic interoperability means the exchange of data in an unambiguous manner. For example, if a patient had a C. diff infection and required treatment with vancomycin, we understand that it needs to be coded beyond an active ingredient of vancomycin and further delineated that it is the oral dosage form and not vancomycin IV because the former is poorly absorbed and remain in the intestines to treat the infection, while the latter is ineffective. We also understand that if a patient has an infection due to staph aureus, it's clinically significant to delineate whether it's MSSA or MRSA, and so that concept should be captured as such. Because of those reasons, we are invaluable members of the informatics team and well-suited to map the nuances of clinical practice with data standards. However, because data standards may be a bit foreign to those that are just starting out in informatics, I wanna spend the rest of this video covering three that are commonly used and you're likely encounter as a clinical informatician. RxNorm, SNOMED CT, and LOINC. Let's start with RxNorm. This is a standard developed by the National Library of Medicine that is two things, and I quote, a normalized naming system for generic and branded drugs, and a tool for supporting semantic interoperation between drug terminologies and pharmacy knowledge-based systems. Drugs in this standard are all assigned a Rx norm concept unique identifier, aka Rx CUI, which represents a unique combination of a drug's active ingredient, plus strength, plus dosage form. Next is SNOMED CT, which is a standard developed by SNOMED International and represents a wide range of concepts like diagnoses, clinical findings, diagnostic procedures, and organisms. At its core, it's broken into three component types, concepts, descriptions, and relationships. Concepts represent a unique clinical meaning and are referenced by a unique machine-readable identifier that has no human interpretable meaning. Conversely, descriptions provide the human-readable aspect of every concept and come in two types, a fully specified name and a synonym. Lastly, relationships represent the associations between two concepts for computer processing purposes and are typically represented using relationship types called attributes. An example is the is a attribute where concept B is a child of concept A. Lastly, LOINC is a standard developed by the Region Street Institute to represent health measurements, observations, and documents. Their goal is to create a new code for every clinically different test, measurement, or observation, with each code being broken down into six dimensions that are called parts. Here's an example from a SARS-CoV-2 antigen test. From a naming perspective, there are three to be familiar with. The fully specified name, which includes the six parts that I previously mentioned, or more commonly for our purposes, the long common name or short name for usage, typically in clinician facing user interfaces or column headers respectively. Well, that wraps up this introductory video to clinical data standards. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.